Hello everyone and welcome back to Coding with Soham Jane. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to do text-to-speech in HTML for your website. We're going to go ahead and start with an empty tab in VS Code and I'll just go ahead and type exclamation mark and click enter just to generate some basic code. The first thing we want to do is change the title from document to text-to-speech and then we'll also create a header with this text so I can go ahead and copy this and also create a header right here. And so the next thing that we want to do is make a text area where the user can type into. So here I'll set an ID that we're going to use later. So I'll just call it text input. And for some formatting purposes, we can just set the number of rows and columns right here. You can also create a placeholder that simply says type here. And then when we go ahead and close this text area, the next thing that we need is a button. That way the user can click on this button and it will run this method text to speech that we'll define later. And we want the text of the button to just say speak. All right. So now we finished everything for the formatting front end purposes, but now we want to do the back end. So we're just going to go ahead and create a script tag over here. And I'll just write function text to speech like the one that we wrote before. And then we'll just say let text equals, then we'll use this document dot get element by ID. And the ID, as we said before, is just text input, but we want to get the value from that. So we'll do dot value. So now that we have the text, we also need to define another variable called speech. And this uses the built-in library speech synthesis utterance. So we're going to be looking for that so right here. And then after we've defined both of these variables, we can also do speech.text equals text, speech.volume, if you maybe want to set the volume, I'll just do one for now. Then speech.rate, we'll also set that to one, speech.pitch. The final thing is that we want to do window.speechsynthesis.speakspeech. And that's pretty much all of the code that we need for this to work. So let's go ahead and run this in a new tab. So all I need to go ahead and do is right click and click this button that says open in default browser. If you don't see this, then you just need to go ahead into extensions and then search for the extension open in browser. So I already have this one downloaded right here. But if you don't, then just go ahead and install that and it should take just a few seconds. So if I right click and click on this button open in default browser, then it'll open up right here, as we can see. And all I need to do is go ahead and type some text. So if I say hello there and click the speak button, hello there, we can hear the text to speech, which shows that the program is working. And there's a couple of other things that you can type, like numbers, one, two, three, and of course, special characters and symbols, whatever you would like. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button down below. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, then please go ahead and leave a comment as well. That's it for me, and this was Coding with Soham Jane.